Yo, what is up guys? So welcome back to another video. My name is Miggy and today we are gonna look at what I'm using during my shoot. <clears throat> I've got this bag right here. It's the Riva case. It's Brandon's Riva case. It's really small. This is where I put all my stuff for storing. And if I do, if I have a shoot, which I don't need lots or I don't need a gimbal, so this is what I bring. So this is like my travel bag. <laughs> Number one is this light right here. So this light I got it for. How much did I get it? It's like I bought this from a dollar store or something. It's a dollar store because they just, well, let's say it's a dinar store. It's one Kuwaiti dinar, so that's like three dollars. And it's really handy. I can use it anywhere, I can use it in small spaces. But this is actually a closet light, so you hang it in your closet on metal surfaces or you can just stick it on anywhere. So it's just like this, I'll just stick it right here. I'll just stick like that. So I have a backlight. Easy, right? And the good thing about this is I can dim this light. It's dimmable. It's not as high tech as those LED lights you can buy in your camera store, but this would work. Just put on the gel, color gel on it, and you're good to go. Boom. So that's the first thing I put in my bag because you can never go wrong with a well-lit subject. So yeah, you need this. Boom. Number two. This thing right here. It's a 50 millimeter lens. This is the entry level 50 millimeter lens by Canon. This is the Canon 1.8 STM lens. It's 50 mm, and I think this is the fastest and the cheapest fast lens you can get. But you cannot use this for this kind of vlog because you will be so zoomed in. And yeah, it's too zoomed in, especially if you're using APS-C cameras. So I mainly use this for like product shoot which is not moving, of course, because this lens doesn't have a stabilizer, but it's also good for videos, for detailed videos, like if you want to do a bit of macro shots, this can do the thing, because it is 1.8. F1.8 is so wide, and it will blur your background really nicely. But the thing is, it's really hard to focus on these kind of lenses, which has really shallow depth of view. So this lens cost me around $90 or 30 Kuwaiti dinars. So it's $90 to $100. It's fairly cheap for a lens this fast. And you can just toss it around because it's really small and this is like a pancake lens. So I just bring this everywhere I go. Next is of course my chargers. I've got this for my camera and I've got this for my lights. I put it there, I put it here. Next one is, hmm, what's next? Oh, before I forget. I've got this hard drive right here, and I've got this hard drive right here. I also bring both during my shoot, especially if, in, if it involves videos, or it involves me taking a lot of photos, I bring my bigger bag during those kind of shoots where I need to shoot videos, a lot of videos. Cause I might, I must bring my gimbal during that time. But let's just talk about this bag right here and forget about that bigger bag. So yeah, I bring these two cause I always want my files to be backed up as soon as possible. And I might, sometimes I accidentally delete whatever I put inside the camera, whatever I shoot it. So this comes in handy. This is the Lacey hard drive. They say this is waterproof or maybe it's only splash proof. There's a big difference. Waterproof, you can submerge it. It won't ruin the whole thing with a splash of water. But don't submerge it. 
never submerge this thing. And yeah, they say this is shockproof, but I never tried shockproof test this one. If I have the money, I would do it, but I don't have the money. So this goes inside my bag. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't fit. Mm, it should fit right there. Mm. And this one right here, I mainly use this for my photos. So whatever is inside this hard drive, it's all photos. There's not a single video in this hard drive. So if this is like my photo hard drive. And this is all video, video needs, stock files, and everything. Sounds, it's here. Yeah, there it goes. Another one I'm bringing is another lens. Here's another lens I'm using. This is the 18 to 55 kit lens. I always bring this lens because never know when you'll need a wider a wide lens you'll never know when one lens might might f or do f so I bring an extra lens just in case I use this for videos as well it ain't bad the autofocus is fast enough for most of my use and it has image stabilization so this is an optically stabilized lens which comes with your Canon 80D my camera is a Canon 80D, so this is a newer version, and it's bloody silent. Even if you put it just right beside your ears, you'll never hear a thing. A mosquito is louder than this thing. Uh, it's really nice. It's actually really nice. And you just need a bit of lighting when you're shooting indoors, or you can work around with lighting, but yeah. This lens is still good for everything. It's still sharp, not as sharp as the higher end lenses, but it will do the job. It's 3.5 and it's not a constant aperture lens. So that means when you're zooming in, it gets darker. Yeah, so that's what I've been using before. And now I'm using the Sigma lens, which is mounted to the camera, which I'm using right now. It's there and of course, I'm bringing my cables. These cables right here. This is all for my chargers. I never miss those things. But I, I always put one inside my bag just in case I ran out of battery during my shoot. I can use one cord or another just because they, because my chargers they have the same port. I don't know what this is called, but it's like two pins. Yeah, so I can use one cord and just leave one at home. So I always leave one cord, one of these cables, inside my bag. I never remove them. So this goes back inside. Next is this thing right here. Maybe all of you are familiar with this thing. It's the GoPro Hero 5. We have the 7 now. We have the GoPro Hero 7. Yeah, but I'm still using the Hero 5. I mostly use this for slow-mo shots or if I just become so creative, like instantly creative. Because sometimes I just like to work with weird angles. You know, like I'm just gonna put this thing somewhere really tight, like those tight spaces which your camera can't fit. So I use this thing. I use this GoPro Hero 5. So, it always goes inside my bag. Boom. Next up is these cables. These two cables. So I have these two cables, which is completely different from each other. They look the same. Yeah, they look the same, but the other one is coil. And I'll tell you the difference between these two. This one, the first one, it has two rings, which goes inside the microphone. The microphone right here, which I'm using, can you see it? So the microphone, it goes inside the microphone. This end, it has two rings, and the other end goes to your laptop. It goes to an external recorder or your mobile phone. So if you plan on, on recording audio off your cam, this one is so useful because you can just plug it in, plug it in into your mobile and voila, you have a recorder. Next one is this thing right here. 
This is the coiled one, as you can see. It's coiled. It's like a telephone. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Yeah, so... This one, it only has two rings. I don't know what it's called. It's T-R-R-S or T-R-R -R something. But it starts with T. But this one, you can only use it directly to your mic, into your camera, or your external recorder, which has this thing right here, which is which is compatible. You can use it for your external recorder. This is like the main cord for this. So when you're using it on top of your cam for vlogging, I use this cord because it's shorter and it won't tangle around. Yeah, so that's it. So that's what's inside my bag. <laughs> about this bag, this is the Riva case. I forgot to tell you about something about this bag. And this bag costs around maybe $30 or less, maybe $20. I got this for 9 Kuwaiti dinars or less. I can't I can't tell, I can't remember, but this is fairly cheap. And I always use this for travel because it's really it's really small and it fits a lot of stuff inside. But if I need my gimbal, obviously I'm gonna bring my bigger bag which is so big, so bulky, and which I will be talking about next time. So that's like my gig bag where I use my gimbal, where I put my gimbal, I put my laptop in it, my big lenses, I put it there, my lights, I put it there. So this bag is like for DIY video creation, which I'm always doing. So I use this bag most of the time, especially if I'm doing street shoot, which I really love recently. I've been loving street photography lately. So yeah, that's it for now guys. See you next time. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you like my video. Have a good time, share some love. It's more than 10 minutes. Why am I keep on talking here? Okay, let's go. Hello.